With much nerdy excitement, I have with me the official Chronicles of Narnia coloring book. For some reason, I got super excited about this when it was first announced, and I saw a lot of other fans did too. I guess because I'm a huge fan of Baines' artwork, and um, it's really high quality, high detail scans um, of her artwork are not easy to come by. I will say, although I am overall pleased with this, um, I am a little disappointed that not there isn't more of her artwork included. When I first saw the announcement, I was assuming that most or maybe even all of her artwork from the Chronicles of Narnia would be in here, and actually it's not very much of it. Um, so that is a slight disappointment, but what we do get is pretty cool. The pictures are sorted by book, um, and they're sorted in chronological order, meaning starting with The Magician's Nephew, when most definitely, I think, Lewis's original publication order, the order that he actually published the books in, starting with The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, is the best way to experience the series. I just had to point that out. But let's take a look inside. So like I said, the images are organized by book, and uh, essentially each section has five different kinds of things. There's an opening quote with the quote in really big letters that you can color in. It's usually kind of hard to read, which, you know, makes sense because you're supposed to color them in. And they always give the source. And then two, sometimes three images um, paired with a relevant excerpt from the book. Then there's detailed looks at characters or objects, usually flipped. Then there's basically tiled images, just a bunch of repeated images you can color in and try different things, I guess. And finally, most sections have a map relevant to that story. Honestly, uh, I don't really see myself coloring this in, but I just really enjoy flipping through it. I kind of think of it as a coffee table book. I just, or, I just enjoy flipping through it and reading the quotes, getting to see Bain's artwork in higher detail. And a lot of this I'm seeing in higher quality than I've ever seen it before, so that's been a really great opportunity. As a fan of Narnia, probably my favorite thing about the entire book is their choice of opening quote for the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe section. Someday you will be old enough to start reading fairy tales again. I just think it's really cool that they went with that. It's not the obvious choice. It's not something you would think to go with. Um, it's not even in the book. It's in Lewis's dedication. Um, and that's just such an important idea. And the fact that someone thought to include that, there's plenty of other great quotes you could have gone with that are actually in the book. As a fan of Narnia and C.S. Lewis, I really appreciate that they chose that. One kind of strange choice I think was made, I guess you could call this a fanboy nitpick, but their choice of opening quote for the Magician's Nephew section, no great wisdom can be reached without sacrifice. I just thought it was a really strange choice because obviously that's something that Uncle Andrew, who's basically a villain, said. It's not an idea the book was sort of holding up and we later see Jadis see a similar thing. So I thought that was kind of a strange one to want to really feature. Not as bad as what the official Narnia Facebook page did where they posted this quote and simply credited it to C.S. Lewis. Uh, yeah, Lewis technically wrote that, but it was a villain he was writing that said that, so I don't think it's something that C.S. Lewis would necessarily have agreed with. But overall, um, I guess I would recommend the Narnia coloring book to any serious Narnia fan, especially if you love Pauline Baines' artwork. I just love her artwork so much because I think, um, there's an inherent danger in including illustrations with the Chronicles of Narnia. And, because Lewis has this style of giving you the faintest, he's so good, he gives you the faintest suggestion of something that just sparks your imagination and makes you fill in the gaps for yourself. So having illustrations and filling in some of that for you, there's a danger in kind of stepping on what Lewis is trying to do with his writing style. But I don't think Bain's artwork does that. I think it, there's something about it that it, it, it kind of gives you the suggestion of it, but still gives you so much room to fill in details for yourself. And for that reason, I'm really glad to have this. I wish there was more for artwork in here, but uh, definitely recommend this to any Chronicles of Narnia fan.